I'm on the exposed Point Peninsula, a few miles to the east of Stornoway. Now, it's not the brightest of days, but I'm expecting a warm welcome from Lewis's Queen of Candles, Mags Ralston. So come with me. Hello, my name is Mags Ralston and I'm from the Isle of Lewis. Um, I have a company called Isle of Lewis Candle Company and it's been going for just over four years. I came over here originally in 2008 with my husband who worked for the Coast Guard Agency and my two children joined the local school, local primary school, uh, School in the Rue. Um, this is some of my products because this is my new workshop which I am delighted to tell you all about. It's been a big huge step from when I started from a shed, a 10 by 8 shed from the crofters to an actual having a premises and I'm just so excited. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is the uh, Lewis Chessmen. It was a project that all the kids do in school and they do that in primary school and they talk about the chessmen, the calorie stones, everything that's important to the people of the island and I made chess men and beeswax, 100% beeswax and you know I loved it, I absolutely loved it I mean they're so interesting, so this is a queen so this is um, in uh, beeswax, 100% so I've done one with colour and one without and they're quite intricate now when I made these I said to my family that I was going to send them off to the National Museum of Scotland I think everybody thought it was a bit crazy because I hadn't long started making candles but you know my granny told me that the worst thing anybody could tell you was no and it wasn't going to kill you. So I sent them off and I couldn't believe it when, actually I, was, I think I was more stunned than anybody else when they sent a letter back saying that they were really interested. What they wanted to, uh, originally I'd sent them along the whole set of chessmen but they really wanted to concentrate on the king and queen. I don't know, I, I think I was in cloud nine for ages, about, I, I still am because I still tell people about it and they've actually just put in another order so my plan today is to make some more ch chessmen for the National Museum of Scotland. The good thing about the museum as well is the chessmen travel all over the world with the museum and with their exhibits so I think there's always a part of Lewis that's sent all over the world and I'm so pleased um, to the British Museum but most of all to the people of Lewis. So Max, the original 12th century Lewis chessmen were made of walrus tusk I take it yours aren't? No, this is 100% beeswax, thank goodness. It's much more eco-friendly. So when I get my beeswax in, it comes in pellet form, which is much easier to melt, and it's all filtered and refined. This is actually how I get my beeswax. So this comes from Loch, Loch Ness. Um, so this is it here. So this is to be filtered. Um, and I fil filter it here as well, on, actually on the premises. So when I use it, I have to filter it, I'll probably filter it about three or four times before I can use it. But this does, do I smell this one? Now that does smell of honey. Uh-huh. I prefer the one on the left. Okay. <laughs> Can't see that. I'll have that in my sandwich. That's the one that's going to use <laughs> So what happens next is I use, um, you can use a bain marie or a pot on a stove of water. I've got it at a low heat, so I melt the wax. When the wax is ready, I pour the wax into a pouring jug and then I pour it into my moulds. Now this is the moulds I was telling you about that I've had specially made. Well Kirsty and I made them with Peter. So this is so this is inside one of the kings. All the candles are tested, they go through rigorous testing to find out which one gives the best burn. So this is um, a large needle, I think this is used in sewing or crocheting. And this is how I would kind of put the thread this through there, pull it out the other side. I've made wee notches underneath, that's all can pull it through, keep it in place. That's the mould for the chessmen. If it's cold, I actually stick, stick them in the microwave as well, just so that the bees, beeswax isn't shocked by the cold temperature. Because everything about candle baking is about temperatures and getting it right. So therefore, we pour that into here and then pour that into there and then that, that would give me my chest men and I would put a, a clip at the top just, just to hold the wick. I'd probably leave it for two hours, I can, ten, I can tell by hand when it's ready um, and then I would take that off and um, pull the mould apart and then I would cut the wick, I'd pull it out and then cut, cut the wick and then I would leave it all, overnight to cool and dry. So my plan today is I've got 200 to make today. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How long are you going to be here for? <laughs> Till midnight. I'm going to be here for a while, but that, that's okay. I'm happy to be here for a while. Because it's not a chore if it's something that you love doing. So. Max, what I love about Lewis is the coastline, the beaches, the cliffs. Have you got a, a candle that I could take home that would remind me of that? Rock, salt and driftwood. Do you want to smell this? I'll try that. Mm, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And the hair. Mm. Now the horror is the mist, isn't it? The it sea is. fog. Yeah, and I think though that the candles evoke feelings of the island as well, and being by the sea, and the seaweed and juniper, and some of the scents as well. It's a shame you can't smell it. It really is great. <laughs> that does smell of the sea. And I'll just show you these. This was a collaboration with Sandy McKeever, the local photographer. At the start of lockdown, it was really very difficult for everybody. And I had to think about um, how to promote my um, candles. I spoke to Sandy, who's one of her friends, and I asked her if I could use her photographs. So we now do postcard candles, uh, and we thought that, that that would be a good idea. Instead of just buying a card, you could actually have a candle. So, Max, before I leave you to your 200 chess men, one question for you. Do you think you would ever leave Lewis and return to the mainland? I have absolutely no intention of ever leaving Lewis. I love it here. I'm so happy, my family are happy. I just love it here, it's a beautiful place. I look out the window, I see the sea from my own house. I'm in my workshop, I look out the window, I see the sea. It doesn't matter how wild or rough it is, it's, it's absolutely stunning. The people of Lewis are the best people I've ever met in my whole life.